to boss reviews and this is from quack shot on the sega genesis and the boss pictured is ka the tiger from let's see i think jungle book yeah they got ka the tiger all right no wait no it's shere khan shere khan or it could be someone else i am not so sure but it is definitely a tiger and it looks quite menacing and you wouldn't want to mess with it it looks like it's had a little bit too much to eat but that's enough of that let's see the review and see how everything goes <laughs> By a tiger the last time I checked. It turned down to move a kiss head. Oh, it looks like it's over already. That was sure quick right there. Did not take that long. So let's take a look at the arrangements. Well, I've I've played this game and this boss can be somewhat tricky to hit sometimes. It seems that uh you do have a, a range of weapons, like you've got a bubble, you've got the corn that's used in this video, and you've got a plunger technique. I personally think that the best technique is the corn because it's kind of a wide shot thing. The bubble kind of is a sucky tactic. It moves slowly and in a random pattern, so it's really hard to connect. And the plunger is what I usually use because it's got infinite ammo. But anyway, the tiger itself is not hurtable when it's just kind of laying down. You can only hurt it when you shoot it in its fat belly. So it exposes itself quite a bit when it's uh, exposed like it is right now. So the tiger does not think about strategy that much and for some reason it can breathe a very intense and weird shaped uh, fireball blast thingamajig and you didn't get to see it in this video but uh, the fire can actually uh, follow you too you see those two platforms up ahead uh, if the boss battle went a little bit longer like it usually does, you would have seen the tiger jump up on there, and sometimes the flames follow you. They don't go in a straight blast, but uh, this boss isn't really, by far, is not the weakest. It's uh, sometimes can be tricky to hit, but yeah, Shere Khan the Tiger from Quack Shot on the Sega Genesis. We'll be back next time.